Today in our 2012 Honda CRV, we're going to review and install Draw Tight Class 3 2 inch receiver tube hitch, part number 75742. Now, here's what our hitch will look like once installed. As you can see, we got a nice round cross tube design with a fully welded construction and a nice black powder coated finish. That's tucked up nicely underneath the vehicle, and the only thing really exposed is our Class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube. 5 8 pre drilled pinhole going through the receiver tube and a an half inch hole that's designed for an anti rattle bolt. Then we have our chain hold downs on each side. This hitch is capable up to 525 pounds of tongue weight and 3,500 pounds of tow capacity. Another really nice feature on this hitch is it comes pre installed with an electrical wiring bracket for your trailer wiring. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements that will assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is two and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is approximately 14 and a quarter inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now to begin our install, we first need to lower the exhaust. We'll need to remove the two rubber isolators from the metal hangers. Now to make it easier to remove them, we're going to spray each one with a little spray lubricant. Once we have them sprayed down, we'll use a pry bar or pliers to remove the rubber isolator from the metal hanger. Just simply sliding it off the metal hanger. And the muffler will come down and expose the frame rail where our attachment points are. Now we're going to have a total of five attachment points to secure a hitch. Four of these attachment points are going to be well nuts built into the frame by the manufacturer. We'll have two on the passenger side and two on the driver's side. So our attachment points and hardware for the frame rail well nuts to secure the hitch will be identical on both the driver and passenger side. Our fifth attachment point will be the tow hook here where we can utilize a U-bolt that will go around the tow hook down through the hitch. Then once our U-bolt's in place and our hitch is up in position, We'll secure it with a flat washer on both sides, split lock washer on both sides, and then a nut. Now our attachment point hardware for our weld nuts is going to be the new 10 millimeter bolt and conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch as it will go up through the hitch and into the weld nut. Now before we attempt to install our new fasteners into the weld nuts, over time these weld nut threads build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris, and so we'll need to clean them out. To clean them out, we're going to use a spray lubricant and our half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. And we'll thoroughly clean those threads out. Now once we have the threads cleaned out, we can go ahead and take one of the new fasteners and make sure it'll thread in nice and easily before we attempt to install the hitch. Now our attachment points for the driver's side frame rail are behind the underbody panel. We have two choices here. One, we could take the panel down, cut out the section, and then reinstall it. Or two, just cut it out here on the vehicle. Using a paint marker and tape measure, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the section, and then use my utility knife to cut it out. I'll go ahead and just connect the dots. Now once we have our plastic portion cut out, there's an insulation section underneath it and we can again use our utility knife to cut, it, cut out that section. Another tool that works real well on this insulation is a pair of scissors. Now with our cutout made and the insulation out of the way, you can see it exposes the frame rail and our two weld nut attachment points. Before we install the hitch on our rear attachment point, we need to install a flat washer that'll get sandwiched between the hitch and the frame. We're gonna go ahead and set it in place now and just use some electrical tape to hold it in position while we install the hitch and hardware. So a couple of short pieces of tape on either side of the washer will be adequate to hold it in place until we get our hitch up into position and sandwich the washer between the hitch and the frame. 
All right, we're now ready to go ahead and put our hitch in place. We'll feed the passenger side up above the exhaust, then feed the driver's side through our cutout and up to the weld nuts. Then we'll reach through the panel and install our bolt and conical tooth washer. Keep in mind as we install our fasteners, we'll just install them finger tight until we have them all in place. Once our weld nut hardware is in place, we'll then move to our U-bolt. Now with all our attachment hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now as we tighten down our U-bolt fasteners, we want to make sure we tighten down both sides evenly. Now with all our fasteners installed and tightened down, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. All right, now with our hitch tightened and torque specifications, we'll go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. And just like that, we've completed our install and we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the review and install of our draw tight class three, two inch receiver tube hitch, part number 75742 on our 2012 Honda CRV.